All right, all. Like the title suggests, in today's video, we're going to be setting up the Cooler Master HAF XB Evo case. We're going to be setting up as an open test bench for here on the channel. When I bought this case back in 2016, that's why I bought this case. I used it to run my personal rig in, and then I had plans to use it as an open test bench, which it took quite a few years for me to get around to. But with this as an open test bench, you know, a lot of people say YouTubers, when they do temperature testing and whatnot, it ain't actually what you would get in a case. But with this one here, it is an open test bench. Then I can put the sides and top on them and give you accurate readings on the temperature on the components I'm testing. I think it's pretty unique in this situation. So let me put a time lapse of the build together. Then I'll run down through the components that make up this build. And I'll be back with my conclusion to the video. All right, guys, as far as the parts that goes into the system, we're starting out with the ASUS Prime B550M. Wi-Fi motherboard with the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 6 core processor 3.6 boost up to 4.2 gigahertz for the storage and the only storage we have in this is going to be the silicon power 512 gigabyte NVMe M.2 gen 3 times 4 SSD for the RAM we have G skills rip jaws 5 series 16 gig Two 8 gig sticks around 3600 megahertz. To keep the CPU cool, we have installed the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 all in one water cooling. For video power, we have the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5600 XT Windforce graphics card. And of course, to house everything, we have the Cooler Master Half XB Evo High Airflow Test Bench and Land Box computer case. And to power everything, we went with an EVGA 650 watt semi modular gold rated power supply. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse, and I will be back with my conclusion to the video.
time I've been putting this test bench together, I think it's pretty well just like building in it. There's a few things that I didn't do. I didn't hook up the front USB 3 headers, because I'm not going to need them for a test bench. I didn't hook up the front audio, because I ain't going to need them. I did hook up the front power buttons and the front LEDs, that way I can tell what the system is doing and make sure it's easy to get the system on and off. And of course this is a test pin, so it will be going through different variants, you know, different parts will be swapped out and whatnot, which is a reason for having a test bench. But like I mentioned in the beginning, now when it comes to temperature testing and everything, you know, everybody's so quick to judge YouTubers, you know, saying that that ain't what the temperature's gonna be in a case. And I did add a 120 fan in the back of this case, along with the two 120s in the front. That way it's a three fan setup, like most people are gonna have in a case. So I think it's going to be more indicative of what you would have in an actual case when it comes to temperature testing. But these are the parts that I started out building with. And there's a reason why I started out building with these components. The reason why I started out building these components, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it up here. There's a video about overclocking the Ryzen 5 3600 on this motherboard. But I was hitting temperature limitations because of the stock heat sink. I wanted to revisit this topic and see what I could actually get out of that 3600 with an all-in-one water cooling which is going to be a lot better for the cooling of the CPU. That's why I started out with these components. If you like this kind of content, go down and give me a like. If not, there's that dislike button. There's also a comment section below. I'll go through them every weekend here at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Saturday mornings on my live stream. If you really like this kind of content, make sure you get down there and hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. That way you get notified next time I put out a video or I go live here on YouTube. And if you're also interested, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. I don't give you inbox, but I do put up photos of new stuff I have filming in here to kind of give you an idea of what's coming up on the channel. And if there's any news about my live stream, if I got canceled or changed the time, that's where you also get notified of that. And with all that being said, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.